Hello, and welcome to the fourth video tutorial on the Washington DNR Interactive Geologic Portal. In this video, we will continue addressing several frequently asked questions. First, we will open the portal at dnr.wa.gov slash geology portal and open the geologic map theme. I want to call your attention to the navigation toolbar on the upper left hand side of the map. There have been issues with the two zoom tools in this navigation toolbar. The zoom in and zoom out buttons in the center of the toolbar will zoom in and out to select increments on the center point of the current map view. The zoom in and zoom out tools displayed with magnifying glass at the bottom of the toolbar must be clicked and then a box dragged around the area of interest to zoom in to that location. If you wish to go back to the overview provided when the portal started, click the Earth symbol at the top of the navigation pane to return to the portal's full extent. As you will note, geologic units are not currently labeled. Though we could use the Identify tool to determine a unit's label, that's not helpful for an overall view of the map. To turn on the labels, click the Surface Geology, the Scale drop-down, and click on the blue A symbol. This will turn on the unit's labels for the selected layer. Other layers will also have unit symbols that are turned off by default, so always check for the blue A if you need to know what a unit symbol is. Another easily overlooked area with helpful layers is base layers. Scroll down the legend until you see the base layers drop down and open this drop down. These base layers have boundary layers for counties, quadrangles, township and range land surveys, and major public and tribal lands. Note that this is different than base maps, which are underlying imagery that can be found in the legend below and in the base maps drop-down in the upper left hand side of the map window. Thank you for viewing this tutorial on frequently asked questions of the Washington DNR Geologic Portal. 